Welcome again to Information Service Engineering lecture number one, Information, Natural Language and the Web. In this section of the lecture, we are talking about the ever-growing web of information today. So if we are looking at the growth of the internet, there seem to be no limits. Now, since more than 30 or 40 years, the internet is growing every day. Here you see a, a chart of the global IP traffic given by Cisco, and you see that it's still growing every day. Even in the last five years, it tripled, as you see here. And here the scores are given in uh, exabytes per month. And this means, of course, this is a lot of data. So please look it up, exabytes in Wikipedia, and just do a calculation how many hard drives you really would need to come up with, let's say, 300 exabytes. And this is only given per month. This isn't even a yearly rate. This is a monthly rate. So it's incredible. So the web is big, really big. And in the words of famous author Douglas Adams, you just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. You know Douglas Adams? Probably. So he's the author of famous Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which started as a BBC radio show in 1977 and became a trilogy of five books, of which during the lifetime of Douglas Adams, more than 50 million copies were sold. Douglas Adams, only worth to mention also, during his lifetime, he advocated for environment and conservation. So therefore, he also is a very good role model for us. Okay. Taking Douglas Adams aside, how big is the web? So probably you know these really nice graphics and statistics that are out there that tell you every other year how much internet traffic is going on there in one single minute on the internet. And this is quite nice, so you can look it up here. I provided the links for everything. And of course you get then to the source of these graphics. So you can see here that for 2020, Every minute in the internet, more than 40 million WhatsApp users share messages. It's incredible, isn't it? And even at Facebook, so I don't know if anybody of you still is using Facebook. However, 147,000 pictures, photographs are uploaded in Facebook every minute. What is really an impressive number is looking at Netflix here right in the center. So the users stream 400,000 hours of video per minute. Simply incredible. And also on Instagram, more than 300,000 user stories are posted per minute. Also an interesting number right here in the right lower corner. Consumers spend online $1 million per minute on the internet. That's huge. Of course, this graphics also has a lower part in which we see that, for example, Amazon ships more than 6,000 packages per minute or Spotify adds 28 tracks. That's not so much, but at least it's something. Or Microsoft Teams here connects 50,000 users and more per minute. And more than 1.5 million people make video voice calls. So this is a lot. And of course, all of these services, they are causing internet traffic. They are producing information on the internet. And this is really immense. So especially the video data you see here that has to be transmitted is uh, growing over all extents. And another thing which is responsible for the growth of information on the web is the internet of, of things. So every household device, for example, every refrigerator now, soon will be connected to the internet and is producing data and is spamming the internet with lots of data. Uh, for example, yeah, shipping your grocery lists and, and, and stuff like that. So somebody has to write a hitchhiker's guide to the web, but probably it's already way too late for that. How do we get along if we don't have this hitchhiker's guide for the web? Of course, we have something to find stuff on the internet to find information and these are search engines which are of course the topic of the next section of this lecture.